Here we have an audio track and it has automation on it. Now you can't see it directly by looking at this project window, but you can see it indirectly. Uh, one of the automations that I have set is uh, for volume. And here on the left of the inspector, you can actually see it changing as we're playing the song. Here, let me do that. I'll play a few measures. So you see, that does show what's happening with the automation. Now for more in-depth, it'd be great to have it in a lane here, right here with the uh, track. And I will do that first. Let's go right click and choose Show Automation. And here you see the automation, the parameters that are set for volume. And for just for demonstration purposes, I have another one here, an input filter. And you can see how it varies. And if you wanted to be able to see it and have it line up a little more closely with the actual audio wave, it would be great to have this line as an overlay on top of the actual audio wave file. Well, you can do that, and let me show you how. You go to the keyboard and type F6. F6 opens up the automation panel. And here's where you can do the various settings for what automations to show. As you can see, I'm showing the used ones only, uh, which I have two there. But if you go down to the lower left corner of this panel, you will see a cog, a little cog uh, that says automation settings. Choose that. And here, one of the selections is show data on tracks. Now watch, as I click and add to the checkbox, there we go. We now have the audio wave file. And uh, right over it is the actual information that we're trying to adjust. And that makes it very handy. So if I wanted to change something based on the wave file, I can easily make some adjustments here, like that. This also works for MIDI files too. You would see the MIDI notes underneath instead of the audio wave file. So open up the lanes, as you see here, the show automation. And here's the hide automation. Once you're showing it, F6. And from F6, you go to the gear and show data on tracks.